Previously on Colorado Tool Sport. And uh, I know I'm up here, but I figured give you guys a little bit better of a view. Let's just soak it in. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I am so over rocks. <laughs> over rocks. <sighs> this only happens once a trip on the way back. So we just got a new member of our group. <laughs> he said, yeah, no way. <laughs> this looks like an excellent way to get lost. <laughs> What's your name, man? Zach. Zach? I'm Jeff and this is Stacy. I'm starting a moto vlogging channel called Colorado Dual Sport. Your helmet's going for a ride. Yeah, tree. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> we passed these guys 25 times today. No kidding. I have no idea which way. That looks like it goes down and flattens out. Like that, that way? That looks like it would go down into the river. Yeah, it's true. You want to go ahead? I'll get some footage of you riding. Yeah, I need to re-gear the DRZ nice. He's gone. What? <laughs> well, that sucks. <laughs> oh, it was the same? Yeah. All right, back up we go.
Stacy so says it's okay. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it actually looks kind of cool. That kid was 16, <laughs> told me that he built that bike from scratch from his boss's uh, garage, which I think is pretty cool. But he's from Oregon. Ow. Sorry, guys. And uh, he just moved down here. And uh, Stace did some recon down on the trail. She said it sucks. Gets worse. No lake, which is what we were promised. Uh, Jeep came down, but they turned around. Whoa! That hurt. Well, my back's probably going to be done for tomorrow. Ouch. I just took a nice freaking slide and slammed my foot straight into the ground. <sighs> just down there a little bit. Yeah, my back's probably gonna be done for tomorrow. <laughs> Which is great, because I got lots to do at work. I'm just putting, dude. I'm done with energy. Get wet. It's better, you're not going through the actual pool. He come out. There she is. That might have actually been an awesome shot. All right, eco mode, engage. So, Kawa Joe has been really cool helping me get uh, get set up and getting tested and just running things by him. 
And the last thing he said to me yesterday, after I did my last test, was windproof your mic. Make sure your mic's windproofed. I hope he's not yelling at me. But, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to fix it. Maybe we won't. Some of these places are just so ridiculously windy, there's nothing you can do whatsoever. <sighs> Dang, eco mode's getting pretty far. Yeah, there's the log. And that, my friends, would be the end. Bonus footage. Dirt road. My favorite. So back there, up at the top of that, is uh, Rollins Pass. These people are kind of mean. They have a do not disturb sign on their front door. I don't know if you could see it, but I didn't want to stare. <laughs> I want to go fast, but <laughs> speed limit's 30. And uh, I'm already doing between 35 and 40. Not shifting that gear. I know you want me to, but I'm not. I enjoy my license and I already broke some stuff. So I'll keep the rest of my money. Oh, feels so good to stand up. Not on those freaking gnarly rocks. When I'm trying to kill myself. Need to get some handlebar extensions. Uh, it's not comfortable to stand up on this bike. Dual sport guy that I was talking to, he uh, he was riding that little CRF and he looks so comfortable standing. I was really jealous. Yeah, I also took off my Arc backcountry pants because down here it's not. 50 degrees like it was up where we were eating. It was freezing. <clears throat> so, I think what our uh, final conclusion is that the trails around here, up above Blackhawk, just suck. They are some of the most beautiful trails I've ever seen in my life. But this motorcycle was not made for them at all. And, uh, I don't think I want to do any more. I mean, we went out to Wyoming, and the trails, they, you know, they had decent big hills, you know, steep hills. I like big steep hills just not with those freaking rocks that are impossible to navigate. Beautiful. I mean, that just gets old after the first five minutes and falling down and... I was telling Stace when we got back to Loda Quad that I actually kind of like the fact that my brake lever broke the way it did and I have a feeling that's very common. <laughs> but it's perfect now. Perfect for two fingers. Uh, I might just get a step over by Scotty's. He's got every tool in the world. And uh, file it down so it's not sharp. And leave it that way. But I, I like it. No need to change something that's awesome. I don't know. I'll probably get all princessy and go buy a new shiny one. But then I'll have to buy a new shiny clutch lever. Which would probably not be a bad idea anyway. But...
That's cool. I'll bet you they have an amazing view. So this first moto vlog might be like 14 hours long. <laughs> but hey mom, I survived. <laughs> and this is probably not the gnarliest. I've been stuck in worse places and had to work a lot harder to get out. But uh, this is how we spend our weekends. We love it. It drains us completely, but it's a blast. If I remember correctly, this is gnarly. <laughs> Not too bad, just a little. That trail, uh, actually this trail, is pretty awesome. Uh, we'll probably end up doing that at some point. <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment. I just got done saying I'm never gonna do that again. That's the little town of Rollins coming into view now. Uh, there's really nothing but a general store, uh, liquor store. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you're not allowed to ride on this road with quads. Nothing that's not street legal. And of course the guy, the kid that we were talking to, was, his bike was decommissioned as a dual sport, meaning he took off the, uh, the lights and the turn signals and all that stuff. So he can't play it right now, but he apparently parked all the way out here. One last goose before we hit town and people are whiny. So yeah, that's Rollins. So we got to go through that whole thingamabobber valley to get home. And I told Stacey I would meet her at the porta potty. This is the only public bathroom. <laughs> there she be. So we'll pull over here and it's ahead of some cows. Hi, cows. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. That was uh, the ride for the weekend. I don't know if you guys saw when I pulled in this guy in the, what is it, Forerunner? Yeah, old Forerunner. Sitting here with his hood up. Apparently he just got towed down from where we were up riding. Something supposedly wrong with his EFI. But uh, he said, I replaced a fuse and I'm waiting for my buddy to come help jump me, but he's far away. So I was like, hold on. We'll be right, uh, my wife will be right down and I know she's got jumper cables. So, random act of coolness, or kindness. I like calling it random act of coolness. Number one complete. Just made that guy's day, actually got it started. <laughs> 